Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, beloved. This is Reverend Emperor Chakra Wanda, and I bring to you another bedtime meditation. The art of manifesting is to affirm and project and to focus on what you prefer to desire, you know, to manifest in your life. It means operating in a more mindful way, in mindfulness. That's where, that's why taking the time to excavate and dig deeper, starting with your mind, understanding the importance of the roles that your conscious mind and your subconscious, unconscious mind, the roles that they play we are born into this experience of the third dimension. We are told how to live, how to breathe, how to move. At some point, many of us began to awaken. Awakening can occur because of a major life trauma, experiences, shocks. And so you began to awaken and say, wait a minute, this is a hamster wheel that I'm living. I prefer to experience something different. And so as you become aware of your conscious mind and the role and what it's supposed to do as a pilot, you know, however, it is the subconscious mind that is extremely powerful, that is encoded with beliefs from what the world has imprinted upon you. I think they say between the years of, as an infant, all the way up to your seven and even all the way up to 35, beliefs that are the opposite of manifesting positive results in your life have been encoded. So it is necessary to go in and do some work. Many love the idea and trend of spirituality. Uh, buzzwords, I'm woke. Well, many are woke and many are broke. Many are woke and broke in. Many are woke and haven't broke, broken up the subliminal programming and triggers from the subconscious mind. So as I do my work, as a spiritual encourager, as an intuitive, as I hear from spirit, I've been doing and creating guided meditations and affirmations actually for years, but never really put it out there for others on a consistent basis. So what you're seeing from my channel is the diving deep, the digging. I mentioned that I am a spiritual hoe. <laughs> yes, like a gardening hoe. You know, uh, the acronym I'm using for HOE is Healing Oneness and Evolution, something like that. But look, watch this uh, video that I prepared. I've been playing with uh, applications that I can create videos with, with nice scenery and through the AI technology. I am not a, technology challenges me. Uh, nope, I'm gonna say technology gives me an opportunity <laughs> to open up to being able to get this information out. Um, I'm not one to do a whole lot of bells and whistles and pretty pictures and all that, but I found a tool and I put this script together and I'm delivering it to you. I want you to use this. I want you to give me some feedback on if it resonates with you. If it resonates with you, give me some feedback. If it doesn't, it's not meant for you, right? <laughs> so peace and blessings and enjoy this journey. And the best way, again, is to do this upon um, getting ready for bed at night. All right? 
peace and blessings and thank you so much for continuing to watch my channel and at Empress Chakra Wanda uh, YouTube I would appreciate your love in subscribing liking following and thank you to my tiktokers as well um, peace and blessings greetings and peace as I awaken into a brand new day I am a spirit operating in a human vessel I honor this vehicle that I'm traveling in on this planet Today I want to have a special meeting, a meeting that's long overdue. Right now I'm calling forth both my conscious and subconscious mind. As you both come forth, I see you both manifest in actual physical forms with light bodies. In my mind's eye, all three of us appear in a room. In this room we are sitting together in a circle on comfortable lounge chairs. This meeting is a beginning of many to come. I appreciate you both Concho and Subconscious Mind for allowing me to have your undivided attention. I called this long overdue meeting because my life has been reflecting experiences that I would like to change. Here's what I understand each of your responsibilities are. Consciousness Mind. To me, you feel like a pilot. I understand that your role is to organize my thoughts, feelings, intuition, and access memory. Subconscious Mind. I have come to understand that you play a very powerful. You are a storage of feelings, thoughts, beliefs, urges, hidden memories, emotions, habits, reactions, and desires beyond my awareness. So for years, I understood you were present, but I really didn't understand the significance of how you both run my life. From now on, I will respect and honor both of your abilities. Moving forward, I request both of your assistance with shifting the life experience that I'm having. I have a folder for each of you which lists the areas of my life that I desire to shift my thinking to result in positive manifestations. For this meeting, I want to focus on money and financial stability. In future meetings, I want to address career, relationships and health, and whatever else I choose to elevate in this life journey. Okay, now I want to address conscious mind. From now on, I'm going to be submitting higher vibrational thoughts in the form of affirmations. I'm also going to monitor negative thoughts and replacing them for you to process and pass on to subconscious mind. As for you subconscious mind, you've been operating on autopilot for a long, long time. You must be exhausted. I know that in essence, you're trying to keep me safe, but you've been operating from old programming and beliefs that no longer serve my life. So today I'm giving you both instructions and permission to take the higher vibrational affirming thoughts you receive from me through conscious mind. I'm going to begin with these affirming statements. I want you both to comfortable and close your eyes to receive your new instructions. Money is my friend. I experience an ever flowing stream of income coming to me through unexpected opportunities. I allow myself to feel prosperous with an abundance of money. I recommit to a higher relationship with money. I experience an ever-flowing stream of income coming to me through unexpected opportunities. I accept that I am more than worthy, always have been, and will continue to be worthy. I accept the beauty of the unconditional love that money has for me. I respect money so much that I easily learn and practice what it takes to handle money properly. I take practical steps in learning and being disciplined in money management. I clearly understand my total income versus my total expenses. I choose a committed scheduled time to review my financial status on a regular basis. I do this when I'm energetically at my best by monitoring my natural rhythm of conscious awareness and choose the appropriate time of day during any given month to review income versus expenses. I accept that I have inherited the energy of success with money that transcends back through my ancestral DNA all ideas of highest expectation of manifestation. I easily practice intentional decision-making when it comes to my financial affairs. I'm successful at thriving. I stay in remembrance that I am an elevated being designed to excel in any endeavor that I pursue in my life. I accept that I've come equipped with everything that's needed for me to be successful at living. I rest in knowing that all I need to do is remember who I am a conqueror of an opulent life. Closing, I want to say thank you to both of you, conscious and subconscious, for attending this meeting. Moving forward, I look forward to spending more intentional time with both of you and thank you in advance for the loving support you bring to my life. I look forward to us taking care of this one life that we co-create together.
peace.